Oh, thanks for joining me today. Now, if you don't like the idea of having to turn on and off this tap manually to discharge grey water from your grey water tank, you want to be able to do it from a switch in your driver's cabin like this. So that's a low voltage 12 volt um, electric tap. Let's cut that off. You can turn it on and off inside the cabin. It uses virtually no power at all. It's only using power when it's actually turning on and off the tap. When it's in the open position or in the closed position, it's not using any energy. So this is a good quality tap available in Australia. I don't think it's made in Australia, unfortunately, but it is available from South Australia. You can uh, order it online. I'll place the link to the product uh, below. I'll show you how to make all the connections, but I'm assuming that you know how to make 12 volt connections and you know the importance of working on a fuse circuit so that you never have a risk of a short circuit or fire. So if this video is useful for you, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I want to first begin by showing you where I've placed the switch right next to the driver's seat. So if you're parked in the correct area, then you can just flick the switch and get the, the grey water tank discharging. And then when you come back, ready to drive off, um, just to make sure that you don't forget to turn the tap off again, um, I'll show you how you can have an LED light warning system on your dash so there's no chance of you driving off, uh, leaving the tap open. Once I make the connection, you'll hear the sound and you will see the valve is opening. That's the electric tap. That's my front parking sensor. I've got a separate video on that. See the link in the video description below. This is my additional light. Again, I've got a separate video for this. And this indicates when the electric step is in the out position and it flashes. Again, I have a separate video for that. Anyway, coming back to the electric tap. So I drilled an eight millimeter hole, slip the LED through, and now I've got to do the connections.
Okay, it's time for the grand test. So if this video is useful for you, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, support the channel and um, I'll have lots of other interesting DIY projects coming up.